construction worker's gut instinct help stop a crime in progress? Construction worker Colin Blevin never considered himself a hero. He was just a guy that trusted his gut and instincts when something felt wrong. And on a hot summer day, his senses were put to the test the second he arrived at work early one morning. The voice in his head made it clear. He was witnessing a crime in progress and he needed to act fast. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. July 17th started out like any normal day for a construction worker named Colin Blevin from Santa Clara, California. He downed a hearty breakfast and arrived at his job at Sierra Construction promptly at 7 a.m. But as soon as he arrived, suspicion struck. There, blocking the entrance to the construction firm's lot with his car, was a man he'd later come to learn was named Raymond Randy Gutierrez. Colin knew all the employees at the company, and this man wasn't one of them. He was also behaving oddly. Colin noticed that the man had an awkward gait and was muttering to himself. Something about this guy just wasn't right. Colin could feel it. It seemed like he was under the influence of drugs, but Colin slowly approached him anyway. Colin didn't plan on confronting Raymond. He just needed him to move his car. A 1992 white Honda Accord, so he could get into the lot. But even before saying anything, Colin noticed something unusual about the man's vehicle. The back door of the Accord was cracked open, and inside was a baby, shown here. Alarm bells immediately went off in Colin's head. Even though he didn't know Raymond, he had a striking inkling the baby didn't belong to him. If it was Raymond's baby, was he in a good enough shape to take care of the tight? Raymond was jittery and disheveled, but the baby looked well cared for. Something about the whole situation wasn't sitting right with Colin. And as soon as the man moved the car, he did something that left the construction worker in shock. To Colin's disbelief, the man moved his car, immediately got out of it, and he started breaking into another car right in front of Colin. As Colin was watching in awe, a woman named Mama Ramirez approached him and said something horrifying. She told Colin the drug-addled man knocked on her RV door not long before Colin arrived at work and tried to pawn the child off on her. For a number of reasons, this made Colin sick. Colin had a daughter of his own, and he knew that this baby's family was probably worried sick. Colin approached Raymond and demanded answers. Is this your baby? Colin forcefully asked. Raymond said no and told Colin the person who let him borrow the vehicle accidentally left the child in the back seat. Colin knew Raymond was lying, but what actually happened? Colin grabbed the baby out of the back seat and told Raymond he was calling the police. Raymond was guilty of several crimes, so it wasn't surprising that he jumped back in the white accord and fled. But it wouldn't be long before Raymond was nabbed and the truth came out. Police tracked Raymond down and arrested him. As it turned out, Raymond was a 43-year-old homeless man who had a reputation around the area for causing trouble. How exactly did he get his hands on a child in the first place? Apparently, the rightful owner of the Honda Accord left his car running for mere minutes right outside his home when Raymond struck. He jumped in the car and drove off, taking the innocent child along for the ride. When Soledad police finally spoke to Colin about the situation, they told him an Amber Alert had been sent out for the child several hours before Colin had found him. Colin was stunned. He had no idea that the situation was already on the officer's radar. But believe it or not, that wasn't even the craziest part of the whole incident. That morning, Colin was suffering from a sore hip, and he almost didn't go into work so he could rest. However, he had too much to do, and for that reason alone, he was able to save a life. After a thorough medical checkup, the eight-month-old infant was returned to his family. The Department of Justice awarded Colin the Missing Children's Citizens Award for his intuition and quick thinking. He fully deserved the praise. Colin Blevin was in the right place at the right time that day. As a father, he hoped if his kid was missing, other members of the community would keep a watchful eye out to help bring a child home, even if that required some creative thinking. The realization that it could have been his daughter or his family facing the same worry and fear made him hug his kiddos a little tighter. Kids are so vulnerable, Colin expressed, that even a few moments alone in the wrong company can become a dire situation. Please share this story with your friends and family.